Taurus, let's get into these readings. You got the vow. You got the thread. Interesting combination. Curious, curious, I'm curious. I'm curious about you, baby. I'm curious. <laughs> Truth about to be revealed. <clears throat> some truth about to be revealed. When I see some conflict going on, there's some conflict going on. Mm -hmm. Taurus, South Noah, and Scorpio. Experience 2022. Y'all out there can't sleep. Y'all about to get justice. Hmm. Y'all about to get justice here. Cutting through some red tape and cutting through some BS and cutting through some malarkey. Honey. In a lover situation. It may cost you some friendships, Taurus. It may cost you some. Mm hmm. And two of cups came up here, reverse. We're going to see what that's about. I said it may cost you, didn't I? Lord have mercy. All of them cups been spilled out. And wow, some of y'all may be into the marriage. Y'all like, yeah, but with this one single thread, the universe is on. Forget them vows. <laughs> you hear me? Some of y'all done gave vows to a lot of people, and the vows you gave to a lot of people is being... Making you look some type of way because you in a bad marriage. And the vows that you gave, because y'all got to remember, y'all ruled by the second house. And that's all about the costs of it. It's all about your beliefs. It's all about your resources. It's all about things that you own. So if you got some sense of responsibility or obligations to like a family or something like that, your family, or you just, you know what I'm saying, devoted and then gave your word to some people. You may be worrying about it because the people are starting to look at you a certain type of way, but it really don't have nothing to do with you. It has to do with the marriage that you're trying to say, you know, devoted to. But it's just not going to work out. It's a whole two of cups in reverse situation. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all may have promised y'all children something. Some of y'all may have promised other children if y'all got God children or something like that. It's something that y'all made a vow to. But it's another vow that is really toxic. You know what I'm saying? It's not the vow, so to speak, but it's what you're in. I feel like it's a marriage or a commitment that you've been in for a long time. And you saw taking, which is, you did the right thing because charity do, do start at home. However... It's your children, and it's outside people. You may have, like, a lot of spiritual children, you know? Like, you're responsible for a lot of energies. That's just what I feel. But you looking irresponsible because you're trying to be responsible to a union that's not working for you. You could have been with this person since childhood. It's been a long relationship, but they're making you look bad, and it really ain't you. It's really you trying to be commode, uh, uh, committed and devoted. I said commoted here. That's one word. Committed and devoted to this union. Some of y'all about to let it go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because y'all got way more people that y'all feel a sense of devotion to. That y'all took a vow to take care of. Y'all might have even told people like... You know, if somebody died or something, they like, look out for my babies or, you know what I'm saying, look out for this. You know, just left y'all with a sense of responsibility. It could have even been like one of y'all parents could have passed. And you told them that you would get your life together or you would live some type of way. And now, you know, whatever you entered into, some you could have been in since childhood. Y'all like some childhood sweethearts type of stuff. Or like y'all was real young when y'all got together and you really tried to keep your vow to this person. 
but it's just not working out because it's making you look like you irresponsible when you're not irresponsible. Just a lot of what you devote your time and energy to is to this toxic situation and it's just not working no more because it's making your character and integrity look suspect when it's really not you you done build more character and integrity within this union trying to make it work you know what i'm saying trying to not argue trying to keep cool you know no matter how disrespectful this person get or how unhappy you are you just try to make this thing work and it just didn't work and for some of y'all, it's just about money. It ain't even about them disrespecting you or nothing else. It's just that you, you was devoted to make things work because y'all made a y'all made a commitment to each other. But you just can't do it no more. You about to speak your truth, and it's gonna shock a lot of people. But it don't really matter because you got you got an obligation to a lot of people outside of just this one person. That's like focusing on these two cups and the six of cups, but you got four cups sitting down here. You know what I'm saying? Full, not spilt over. It's like beating a dead horse type of situation. I wasn't expecting this to go that way, but that's what I said, the vow and the thread. One of y'all vows is taking y'all from. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all may deal, be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. You made a You made a. You done built a legacy or something with this energy. But it's just not working out. I'm going to get further clarity to see if you're going to go ahead. If you feel okay about it. That's what we need to see. Or is it. You got that four source. You may care what the public think. Mm -hmm. You're going to get to the point where you don't care no more, bro. Because you got stuff to do. And it's causing so much conflict. And you see a lot of stuff going on. And your voice is not being heard by people. People not taking you as serious as they used to. You was known for your character and integrity. But now, people are not taking you as serious as they used to. Because, you know, you got caught up in this union relationship. And it don't have nothing to do with you lacking character or integrity you got both if not more you know because you really tried to stay and work through it but it's just not working it's for somebody this message is kind of specific yeah man you tried you really did but you better get on the body there mm-hmm too much conflict going on inside your house but not really it's just like no love there it's over it's the end of a cycle but then you seeing a lot of conflict that you want to help with but people don't look at you the same so it's kind of like your hands is tied so it's almost like you gotta you gotta tell the truth because Tauruses have the tendency to be very private people y'all do not like people think Capricorns is private oh hell no People think Virgo, man. Taurus? Taurus don't say shit. When it comes to what's going on in their house, baby, you wouldn't know it. Queen of Swords. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Yeah, y'all about to reveal some truth to people. Mm hmm. So, y'all sick of feeling like this inside your own house. And people think it's one way and it ain't even that way. Mm hmm. That's how you feel. Let's come up under the Two of Cups in reverse. A big headache. That person may yell all the time, you know, complain. It's just a vibe that you're not feeling. It's dark energy, and you're about to cut free from that shit. Some of y'all are going to leave and end up living by yourself. And when I say y'all going to be so damn peaceful, some of y'all may leave and end up taking your children, just you and your children. And when I say a whole, a whole new world, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You seeing people like this. You like this, but you're seeing people like this. And you can't even help them because they don't they don't look at you how they once looked at you based off of you really took your eyes off of outside people, outside of your home, and you was dealing with what's going on inside of your home. But the, what was going on inside of your home is the end of a cycle. It wasn't nothing you could do to make it last. It wasn't no make it last forever, hey. 
Trying to see y'all to have to pack it up and move it out. This is kind of specific. Mm hmm. Yeah. You got a lot of obligations to fulfill. A lot of uh, people you're responsible for, should I say. Yeah. Some of y'all may be dealing with a fire sign. Married to a fire sign. Whether you a male or a female. Because the king and queen of wands came out and it spread. Mm -hmm. Somebody practicing dark magic on y'all. Witches. Lovers in reverse. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Ooh, people. Oh, God. Let me show you. Y'all really tried to make this shit work. But it's just it. And it ain't got nothing to do with you. When shit be over, it be over. There ain't nothing you could do to stop it from being over. That's how you end up in a five of cups type of energy. But you about to break yourself out of this shit. You about to cut through this shit. Some of y'all are here. Y'all doing it because y'all getting older. You know, it's just, it ain't no, it, it really, you don't even have the time. The way that you looking like is totally different. And the person that you leaving, they didn't never think that you would leave. Don't he look like he kind of confident, in, you know, that you would never get on the good foot? Don't she look like you, you know, you would never get on the good foot? Well, you about to get on the good foot for some of y'all. Because this is a whole dead situation. And you still got life in you. But the way that you view life is not... It's not the same. And now it's kind of showing how much of a difference. Extensive trauma. Yeah. It's like you was working on yourself and this other person wasn't. Even though y'all knew each other for a minute, they was stuck. They got stuck in their ego. And they really, yeah, man, make an old school playlist. Some of y'all are up in age. Like 40s, 50s. Maybe late 30s. Mm-hmm. And y'all got with somebody like junior high school, high school, or like in y'all early 20s. And when I say y'all seeing that y'all are not compatible at all and y'all been together for a long time, it's like light bulbs wore off everywhere. Yeah. That's all they got to offer. It's like a page of cups type of energy, but you be so devoted. Yeah. Now you looking like, what the fuck? All the years of my life just gone? I'm trying to tell y'all. Some of y'all like 50. You need Reiki, some of y'all, yeah. They've been practicing magic to keep you. Some of y'all been in these unions, they was practicing magic on you to keep you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Magic do not smell the roses. Ten of Cups. That's what you headed towards. Mm-hmm. Once you come up out of this, you're going to cut yourself out of this shit. Whatever this is, it's really weird. And it's putting you in a real bad headspace. Whether you a man or a woman. And both of y'all could be feeling like that at this point. Because it's incompatibility. You can't hold people. I don't give a damn how much magic you do. People going to be who they going to be. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can delay, but you definitely ain't going to deny. And some people get denied because they don't pay attention to the red flags. When somebody working that bullshit on them. They want to ignore all the signs. You know what I'm saying? But if you sitting feeling like this, come on now. Wake up, something ain't right. I don't give a damn how long you know them. Wake up, something ain't right. I don't give a damn how long you know them. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all is about to move into this. Some of y'all are about to move into a Ten of Cups. Once y'all cut yourself out of this Five of Cups, Two of Cups in reverse. Love is in reverse energy. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all going to go into um, hermit mode. And when you go into hermit mode, spirit wants you to be patient. Because your will of fortune is going to turn. Don't turn to the liquor bottle, okay? Because God is in control. Don't turn to drinking. And don't turn to feeling sorry for yourself. Because some of y'all male energies I'm picking up going to um, bring in a queen of cups energy. And some of y'all females... Just gonna bring in an emperor type of energy. 
or a candle wand type of energy. But it's going to be compatibility. Protect your crown chakra and your third eye, y'all. Some of y'all done made y'all decision. Y'all leaving this person. Ain't about to be no just hanging around looking goofy. Some of y'all about to reinvent yourselves. Because they had y'all looking real crazy in the eyes of the public. And it's not even who you are. You just let them take the lead or to put on this air like they was all this and all that. And they was not all this and all that. They was a hot bowl of garbage. Because they was always on some damn garbage and trash. Clarify that is six and eight. Please, spirit. Mm-hmm. Y'all looking back at how y'all done lost time and money and energy. And y'all feel like y'all haven't been productive. And y'all feel like... <laughs> You know, y'all don't believe the same things. You look at it, what it costs you staying with this individual. And you got to use the most direct way when it comes to getting out of this union. And when it comes to revealing the truth to people that are looking at you real strange. Because you no longer acting like who you really are. You lost yourself in that shit. <laughs> Damn. Motherfucker was so imagine it. And they gonna fuck around and die. Because they was the Ten of Pentacles came up. Because they was trying to get your money. It was all about money. For real. That's gonna be the hidden shit. I'm trying to tell you. Or maybe trying to kill you to get some damn money. Like a life insurance policy or something. I'm trying to tell you. all That's why people hate some tarot readers. Because, I mean, we can't do nothing but tell you what spirit is telling us to tell you. What's hidden? To the naked eye or what's confirming what you felt in your gut that you just refused to listen to mm -hmm. you about to get it all back though Taurus energy king of coins yeah. and some of y'all um, divine feminine um, Taurus is maybe coming into union with a king of coins uh, Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn but y'all definitely gonna be with somebody way more compatible. Y'all been praying about it. It's, it's intense. Yeah, man. This person don't let you breathe. They always gotta be with you, but don't want you. Type of situation. See how that lion in the back? He there looking at you. Forget that it's a queen of king of wands. Forget a queen of wands. Forget a wand. Period. Look at the energy. Somebody is always around, watching you, keeping an eye on you. Like you, they money bag. It ain't even about love. It ain't even about caring what you're doing or, you know, wanting to be with you. No, they just want to be a part. Because they know how much people rock with you for real. And they know who you really are. Some of y'all just forgot. Mm-hmm. Y'all got the five of cups twice. So I know y'all been in a kind of negative headspace. Trying to keep this vow to somebody that ain't keeping no vow to you outside of trying to get some damn money. Or get it, you know, after you stay with somebody for 10 years, then you entitled to their money when you married. Or they was trying to literally do something to you, make you sick, do something to make that make them be able to cash out on a life insurance policy. And they've been doing it for a minute, slowly but surely. I'm trying to tell y'all. Some of y'all be sick. And don't know why, thinking it's other people, no. Mm-mm. Your enemy was laying right next to your ass. This is so toxic. For real. Y'all about to get a two of cups, so upright. Mm-hmm. Because the fortune is changing. Didn't I just say that? Y'all fortune gonna change. As soon as y'all leave this person, y'all gonna look like it's gonna be the world card. Y'all world gonna open up. I'm trying to tell y'all. Like, whoa. Damn, you was holding up all of this? Yes. This person holding the wheel is your, the person that you leave. Trying to hold your fortune or the wheel from turning. Trying to stop your destiny. For real. Everybody thought they was because they talk a lot. You don't talk a lot. And when you talk, it's something meaningful. They talk a lot 
in private but act like they don't talk in public you see what i'm saying you talk in public but you quiet in private and sometimes you even quiet in public or you pleasant they don't talk at all when it's a lot of people around but when they get behind closed doors it's yakety 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 whether it's in your ear or on the damn phone so the way that people perceive them is the way that they should perceive you. They usurped your energy located. Yeah, man, they pontific ain't lions. <laughs> they say everybody that's quiet, that don't mean they weak. Well, you let stuff slide, you know, and still try to maintain, the, you know, the character and integrity that people think that they have when you know that they don't have none. Because you live with their ass. Or have, if you gone already. Yeah, it's a life or death situation. Y'all got to get up out of there. Mm-hmm. Y'all done clear karma. It's a wrap. This is kind of specific for somebody that's a Taurus. You yarp. Could be the mother of your children. Mm-hmm. When I say toxic, baby, listen. I'm trying to tell you. Or the father of your children. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all may have met somebody new already. And I said in a previous Taurus reading that y'all could feel the energy of somebody else, but y'all haven't yet to connect with that energy. But they love, they like y'all. They feeling y'all. And y'all may have met the person. Some of y'all met y'all soul flames out um just, you know, while you was married or while you was in this union. Mm-hmm. You just couldn't make the connect because you was in something else and you was trying to keep your vows sacred for real. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all done lost school. Y'all was trying to build a brand or y'all want to do something. And this person was like, I don't know. They was too like they was in the way. You feel like you done lost control of your life in some type of way. Or you wanted to do something like you got lost in this union. It's stuff you want to bring to the world. You're real creative. It's stuff you can do. Some of y'all may have started a brand and it just couldn't take off. It's something y'all was doing and couldn't take off because of this energy. Yeah. Y'all gonna come in the union with somebody in this union. Y'all devotion to this union. Them vows, man. When I tell you. Focus on yourself. Some of y'all are dealing with a dark night of the soul and y'all been dealing with it because y'all trying to be so devoted to this energy. But they not devoted to you. They devoted to the money. And what they gonna get out of it? Yeah. You the divine one, they the karmic. Mm -hmm. They just usurp your energy so people look at them like they divine. And they don't look at they look at you like you was once divine, but now they starting to kind of fell away. But it's just because things are clearing up and clearing out. And that person gonna be revealed for who they are, whether God reveal it or will you tell the truth to people that are wondering what's the deal? But they thought y'all was this dope ass power couple. It was never like that. But you just always you were solid for real. And they won. Yeah. When you see a blue jay, your ancestors want you to consider therapy. That's what King of Earth energy. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, anybody cross watching. Yeah. Some of y'all got the soul of a sage. And y'all counselors. I'm telling y'all, I feel like y'all got responsibilities to a lot of people. And you know that. And that could have been the brand you was kind of working on to give back to humanity in some type of way. And it could be dealing with children. But this person is fucking with your vibe. Your whole vibe. And you feel like time is lost. If you can't get nothing back. Like you're not going to fulfill your destiny. But you are. It was delayed. But it's not denied. You're going to come into union with somebody that's going to be divine and not a karmic. They ain't going to be on the phone all the time. They ain't going to be all in their ego, all loud and extra. Always saying what you ain't doing. Always complaining. Always embarrassing you. You know what I'm saying? And you always feeling like you um, 
nervous energy or anxiety on the inside like your stomach be hurting and stuff when you go out with this person because you don't know they're capable of saying anything you know they be acting fraud you know they don't love you like you know what i'm saying people think and so is you all that's why you need reiki some of y'all need reiki i'm gonna put my um, information in the description box below i do distant reiki i don't do um you know, in person right now, due to what's going on. Even if you live far away, it's still the same. You still get the same benefits. And you'll get some of the benefits from being on this channel. But it's definitely, y'all got a lot of internal conflict, or y'all did. It's time to just release it. Because God gonna make you. That's why the hangman came up. Y'all really don't have no choice. All right, Taurus. I hope this helps somebody. I don't like hope. I pray this helps somebody. Because this is this is toxic. This person is toxic, for real. They giving me a damn headache. And I don't get how they idea. Yeah, they tricksters, manipulators, they false teachers. They be trying to teach people. Y'all be looking like, you know what? Shut up. Because you know how they really are. How they really cut, for real. It's a whole game and an act. That's crazy, crazy. All right, y'all. Love and like.